Former baccalaureate Charity Lawson recently revealed the shocking truth about the franchise's fantasy suite dates. Keep reading for all the juicy details. The fantasy suite dates are unique to the Bachelor Nation franchise. It's time for the lead to get closer to his final contestants. At that point in the show, there are usually only three contestants left. They are given a key to a hotel room, and they can decide whether to join the lead in the fantasy suite or not. Cameras and microphones aren't allowed in the room, making it the only true time contestants have alone time with the lead. Intimacy may or may not occur, and viewers may or may not be clued into whether intimacy occurred. Nick Vile famously called out Bachelorette Andy Dorfman on live TV for having asterisk X with him in the fantasy suite, then dumping him. For some leads, such as Golden Bachelor Jerry Turner, the final one-on-one -on -one date is the deciding factor in who they will choose as the final Rose winner. Bachelor Nation fans thought Leslie Fimo was the one for Jerry, but he chose Theresa Nist after their last date together. So what really goes down in the fantasy suites? Without cameras, viewers will never really know. However, the camera crew does start filming again the morning after. Former Bachelorette Charity Lawson answered a fan question on her Instagram about whether the crew gives a heads up before they enter the room. But rather than answering herself, she let her fiancé, Doton Olubeko, field the question for her. According to Doton, the camera crew doesn't give much notification before entering the room. They just pull up on your asterisk asterisk. He joked about the crew barging into the room in the morning. But luckily it's in the morning, so they're not walking in on a show, Charity added. While Charity and Doton's tea was eye-opening, one Reddit user was left with more questions. So no warning, but I wonder if it's like 7, 8 or 9 a.m. they pop up on them? I need down to the minute details. If it was me, I'd try to get up with my person for 5 or 6 and just be a zombie for the rest of the day, since I'm not on camera and probably just filming bet stuff or left alone, they wrote on a thread. Do you think the morning after the fantasy suite date is as awkward as Charity and Dutton say it is? Share your thoughts in the comments.